All right, we got the third of the four MNC locks here. This one is a lot like the last one I picked, the Matrix SKG three star, um, except that it's now in dimple format. So it's got the five pins up top that have um, uh, tapered key pins and then that spooled uh, driver pin on all five. And then it has five sliders as well, but these ones are sprung sliders. So they're actually, I think a little bit easier because um, they always push all the way to the side and you just gotta lift them, right? And they don't have false skids or anything as far as I could tell but we will uh, gut it and verify that if that's the case. Um, for tensioner, just whatever tensioner fits in here, I'm gonna go clockwise, um, just as if it was in the padlock again. And then I got this Multipick Elite G Pro number nine. It's like, a, it's this curved flag. Usually when I pick with these, I use the back side of the flag. This time I'm gonna use the, the, the tip of the flag. It just seems to get the height necessary to lift some of these pins up, but it is a little bit hard to get on the pins and whatever. Um, so I might be struggling a bit with that. Uh, in any case, uh, pin one is springy, so we'll go to the next. Two is springy. Three, having a hard time getting under, so it's binding. Ooh. He's sliding around. All right, a little bit of click from three. Four, having a hard time getting under. So I'm guessing that one is the next binder. Oh, I got stuck in between them. One, two, three is missing because it's sitting high, and then four. Four. All right, a little click from four and a little bit of plug rotation. Five. Five seems to be binding. All right, a little, a little counter rotation to slide under five, so that might have been um, setting it out of the spool or something like that. How it's spooled. All right, four again is binding. All right, click from it and a little bit of plug rotation. We go to the beginning again. All right, one seems to be binding now. It's not, it's not springy at all. So it's not moving at all. Let's let off tension a little. All right, little counter rotation and then that's set and now it's jiggling as if it's set. Two also like acting like one is not moving at all. Little counter rotation and now it's springy. Three, if I can find it, always the hard part. The counter rotation. I don't know if I got him. I think something else dropped while I was doing it. Let's check my pins again. One is jiggling. Two is jiggling. All right, four, I believe, fell back down again. Lifted it up, got a click. Let's come back to the beginning. I think something might have fallen. No, nope, one is jiggly still. Two appears to have fallen. Little counter rotation and it's set. One is still set. Two, three. That three area. I think, uh, I think, is that four? It's very hard to feel three and four. They get they get really high up there. They might be like max lifts. So they're very, with this flag, they're a bit hard to sense where they are. I think that's three is, uh, gave me a little spring sound. So I think it's jiggling three, it must be four. That's the issue. So I just gotta find four, and then I think we'll be good. It's probably four is probably our last one. But I'm having a hard time finding it. Is that it right there? That might have been it, but I'm not jumping into a, Oh, all right, tapped two a little bit. So it was four there, but then two must have dropped down slightly, but not quite out of, into the spool area, and I tapped it and we dropped into our deep, deep false set, all right? So at this point, um, it's just sliders holding us up. So you, you definitely know when it's time to work on the sliders in this one, it, it's super deep. All right, so one, uh, I, I'm using this short hook here. So number one is loose, two is loose, three is binding, so let's go ahead and set three. No, that's just slipping off, I think. All right. All right, one, two, All right, maybe three set, four is binding, and we're open. So I didn't even need to touch number five. I guess five was a no lift for the sliders. Uh, we'll take a look inside of this. So get it. this actually turn on the autofocus. Give us a little bit of light here. Have that so we don't get so much glare. 
some gutting tools. Lock this guy back up again. There we go. And gut it. All right, so C clip. So there is going to be a sidebar underneath that you're going to want to catch. Uh, and I'm and there's some control uh, key control pins. So just a, a follower like that and catch that slide uh, sidebar underneath. Um, also, you can see that the back is not solid. So make sure you have it rotated accordingly so you don't drop pins into those slot areas. All right, I'm going to drop the sidebar out the bottom, which is right here, sidebar coming out. And that guy has two springs with him. So there's, sorry if I'm covering anything up, but there's one spring and here's the other spring. Sidebar is just a flat bar, it's nothing special. Um, top pins. Let's see if I can get them to come out easily. There's pin one, it's a steel pin for anti drill, I guess. Um, all right. If you take the key out, then that's going to allow the um, the, s the sliders to pop out. So the, the key is holding the sliders in. So if you want to remove the key to better deal with these top pins, you just hold your thumb over the sliders. All right, anyways, this is getting two pop up and five. Those are brass pins. Let's see if I can get, or I can't get three and four to pop up. It's too. Uh, there's. Three. Please grab it. Yep. And then let's grab four. I'm trying to hold it like so that gravity doesn't pull it back down. There's four. Okay. Uh, let's deal with some sliders. So you see how they they're popping up because they're under they're under springs. Um, all right. So this is five. I know it's a little, the the front of the block is facing to the right. I always do this. All right, there's five. It's easier with your fingers. One, two, three, and four. There's all those. Um, they each have a spring under them. I might not pull. I've never, I don't know. I've never pulled these springs out. Oh, they're down there. There's one. I was going to say I won't pull, pull them all out, but maybe they'll fall out. There's another one. Um, the other thing that this has is some. Um, oh, <laughs> it's got like this big old bit on the front, which I guess is um, anti drill or something like that. It's like a piece of cast iron or something. Um, but then you got these key control bits. There's two of them in this one, three empties, so chambers one and four. They don't really come into play picking as long as you don't push on them. So chambers one and chamber four. These are actually kind of tricky to put back in um, to get the, the little spike lined up into the, the, the hole. Okay, there's two more springs. And that's the plug. So all that came out of the plug. All right, now the Bible. Um, just our five top pins and their springs. I should probably flip this the right way around. It's got like a little um, uh, anti-drill pin there. So that first is not a chamber. Um, there's the first one. The uh, the pins have a hollow back to them so that the spring can be longer, I guess. Get more compression. So they're hollow. So you can only really put them in one way. Well, I guess you could put them in either way, but it's obvious which way they're supposed to go in because that hole and also the uh, the spool will have to face the, the key pin in order to come into play. All right, so that's all the ones in the Bible. We'll take a look at these pins that we got here. Um, they're all the same, the driver pins. They're all this kind of, uh, they've got this tapered spool here. And so as you push on it, you'll you'll feel the the plug counter rotate out. It helps you because when you push on it, it's automatically uh, counter rotating the plug for you as it travels up this this tapering. 
So it's not like uh, other locks where you have to float pick it and you have to manually rotate the plug in order to, to clear a, a, a sharp lip. This one doesn't have a sharp lip. But one of the nice things about that is these key pins are also tapered. So these key pins feel similar to those spools. When you push up on this key pin, it's also going to give you that counter rotation as if it's a spool. And if you push it all the way, you're going to drop a lot of the other pins because it's going to cause you to counter, counter rotate too far probably. Um, all right, I haven't looked at these. I'm assuming they're going to be the same as the matrix. So, all right, they don't even have that little half false gate that didn't do anything. They just have a true gate is all they have. Uh, I think all of them probably like that. Oops. Yeah, they just have a true gate. So nothing, nothing special there. You just have to keep tension on and just push them up until they, they click. Uh, so very, very simple um, sliders in here, but pretty tricky. Um, top bidding uh, on the dimple pins. That is the, oh, I didn't even say what lock this was, did I? It's the MNC Condor. So I did the MNC M2, the MNC Matrix, and now the MNC Condor. And then I still have the Color Plus to do. Um, and then there's, they have a bunch of other locks, but I, I couldn't get a hold of them yet. So in any case, MNC Condor, thanks everyone, bye.